Good morning, YouTube. I started recording and I'm not at all prepared, so I'm going to have to do a lot of editing on this one. Um, I heard back from Citadoria I said in yesterday's video. Oh, by the way, yesterday's video, I had some kind of technical glitch because I uploaded it last night, edited it before I went to bed. And what I do is I edit it, upload it to YouTube, I add in all the cards and then I set it to publish about half hour, hour later to give it a chance for the HD to upload and all that lot. And um, it didn't upload. It was really weird. It said it was public in my creator studio, but it wasn't actually showing when I went to my channel. And I woke to a message from Mary this morning going, oh, your video is private. Like, uh, okay. And it took about 20 minutes of me mucking around with it to get it to actually do anything. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't really know what happened there, which is a bit annoying. So I apologise for yesterday's video not appearing until this morning. No. Yes, I heard back from City Dory, which I mentioned in yesterday's video that I was thinking of going with them. But I need approximately 650 pages. And by pages, I mean side. So that is one side, that is two sides. OK, um, I, I, I want about 650 to give me enough for the whole year. And they won't go that big. They go to 408, which is a bit of a bummer. So I'm going back to the Traveller's Notebook system for next year. I've ordered a book from what was their name on Etsy. And she's an English company, which is what I really, really, really liked. Um, the Chelsea Paper Company. Um, I've ordered a little traveller's notebook um, insert because I figure, well, if I need 650 for the year, I actually wrote a list. Look, this is all that I cover it, but 650 for the year. So then I break it down to monthly approximate pages. I need about 56 pages per month. That's for a 31 day month with a five weeks in it. Because, you know, sometimes it'll be long and sometimes it'll be short. Obviously, February will be <coughs> the shortest one. Um, so, yeah, I've ordered this one. And this one has, uh, this has bang on 56 pages. So, provided I don't go over, it should be okay. Um... She does 120 GSM, staple bound. That's the only thing I don't like is it's staple bound. But what I might do is sort of just sew them and take the staples out. I don't know. Um, A5 size. And I got it with 5 mil dots. So I've got one, one notebook coming. I'm going to test it. And what I'll do is I'll use the back page and do some pen testing and see how it works out. And if I think, yeah, do you know what? This is going to work. I'll keep that book for February because where February is the shortest month. So there you go. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you. See, I make notes for myself and then I lose all my little notes. Notes of things to tell YouTube. I can't tell you that other one because I've lost a bloody note. Oh, hang on, is that it there? Slipped under there. No, that's not. See, so I keep all my scraps of paper and then probably lose them all. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. I didn't double my Fitbit. <laughs> that was the other thing, because I was supposed to aim for 20,000 steps yesterday. And you know what? I was in such a foul mood that I didn't do it. So, yeah. But I, I, got, I got a green dashboard. I just didn't double it. So, green dashboard is all right. I still get points for it. <sighs> Today's word, or yesterday's word, was fuck. I was in a foul mood, so. Oh, thank you very much, baby. You welcome. Yes, he's playing with his toys because, quite frankly, I'm banning the TV for a little bit because the behaviour is uh, deteriorating. The minute it goes off, there's a scream in abdabs, and I'm not not having that. That was part of. Okay. That was part of yesterday's bad mood, so... Right, let's pull a card. Hang on while I just stand up and grab... <coughs> I have something to share. A new bus. 
You've got a new bus. Okay, let me show it to everybody. This is new bus. Yeah. It's, it's a London cool. bus, which I like. Right, go play out in the hallway for me, please, while I just do this. Daryl. Hallway, please. No, because you won't be, and I'll keep telling you, because you'll soon start flying your toys around. Go out in the hallway. Um. <coughs> I love this deck. This is the Nature's Whispers Oracle deck. And, and it is an absolutely beautiful deck. I mean, look at the artwork on some of these. Look. I mean, how beautiful are these? Did you hear that video? Might be regretting. <laughs> Not putting the TV on. I normally put the TV on while I film because it keeps him out of my hair. But um, yeah, his. We had a big fight he and I yesterday about toys being basically tossed all around my lounge, and um, the refusal to then clean them up. So. Um, Today there will be no TV until later. <coughs> These don't spread very well, that's the only trouble, they're a bit sticky. I want that one, but that one. I don't know why I want that particular one, but I do. Oh, this is lovely. Keep your dreams alive. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, right, I need a colour for this deck. Let's choose. 673 will be the Nature's Whispers. Nature's Whispers, yeah. What a bloody mouthful that is. I don't know why you can see that, but I can see it. So there you go. We'll colour in. I must get my son to look at this chair to stop it from... Can you hear it? I don't think it's an issue with the chair. I think it's an issue with the fact that there's a woman who weighs about £200 sitting on it. <laughs> so, keep your dreams alive, it says. Um, it's a gorgeous card. It's beautiful. It basically telling me that I've got to start towards making plans to keep my dreams alive you know um, that I can make any dreams I've got a reality I need to start detailed planning to manifest my dreams so basically it's a case of you know work out what I want and go for it I've got to remain focused on the practical side of things and keep my feet firmly planted on the ground which is what the last two days have basically told me you know um <coughs> excuse me um on the fifth i it said you know time to dance to my own tune but to pay attention and then yesterday um day before yesterday excuse me was a new opportunity maybe coming my way and then yesterday was guidance maybe needed and again, this is, you know, keep your feet on the ground. Don't become distracted by more ideas and concepts. Stay focused. Use my common sense and begin taking steps. So, yeah, that's a good card. I like that card. It's pretty. Very, very, very pretty. It's just the artwork is so, so beautiful. I did hear they were doing a tarot deck at one point. I'll have to go back into that and have a look. But look at that. I'm gonna scan some of these in and just use the pictures. I mean they're just absolutely stunning. Scan them in, take the word off the bottom. They'd make brilliant art pieces. Right.
Okay, I did that last night. Um, still on yesterday's pen. So I did 13,000, just under 14,000 steps. So while that is not as great, it's still just under 150% of what my goal usually is, because my goal is usually 10,000 steps. So, you know what? I'm quite pleased with that. But when I say I got green, this is what I mean, right? Like today, these are all blue. When I reach the each individual goal, they go green. This is called your Fitbit dashboard. And each, you have your goals on each one. All right, I'll show you. Right, my goals are 10,000 steps, 5 miles, 2,000 calories, and to do 30 minutes at least, and then 10 floors. Okay, so that's each of these goals. So you've got steps, floors, miles, calories, and minutes. Once you reach the goal, the circle will go, and the icon will go green. Okay, so I, I got green yesterday, as I call it. If I can't get out for the day, I um, tend to walk up and down my hallway. <laughs> Some people step on the spot. But um, I don't like to do that because it makes my back really hurt. I do, I do it, you know, I do it occasionally, stepping on the spot, and I'll stick a YouTube video or a film on or something. But I prefer not to simply because it makes my back ache. So I go up and down the hallway. Um, I didn't do any chores last night. I was in that foul in the mood that I was just like, you know what, bollocks. So today. I actually don't have any big chores in so what I might do is bring forward the bath sink the banister and all of that lot and do them all today I don't worry too much about the windows they can they can fly until next week um yeah so yesterday's work was fuck um if you haven't yet watched yesterday's video that was my drawing for yesterday I'm actually really pleased that it it looks better on the camera than it does up close. But, you know, I was having a go with blending it. And I, I'm not very experienced with watercolour pencils. I'm not very experienced with art. I'm just not very good at it. Um, I'm just going to move my now cold cup of tea. <coughs> before I send it flying. Um, so, you know, <laughs> it looks a bit wonky. But, hey, you know, it'll do. It's all right now. You can't see it very well, but there is like water spouting out here. But then I went and wrote all over it. So, yeah. Anyway, right. Let's switch to today's poem. Which is a slightly more lurid pink. Right, I'm not going to mark anything there because I haven't done anything again. I'm sitting here in my dressing gown. So we've done the tarot race for the day. That's good. Let's see. Uh, right. I slept from, or I was, you know, lying staring at the ceiling from quarter past two until 9am. Daryl decided he was going to cooperate and play nicely this morning. Well, interspersed with coming and going, Mummy, are you awake yet? I'm like, no, I'm not. Bugger off. I don't want to get up. But I didn't sleep well. I never do when I have a day like yesterday. It's just one of those, your mood suddenly hits rock bottom. Bloody great row with a four-year-old. And you never win a row with a four-year-old, do you? Even if you get what you want, you just end up feeling like shit afterwards. That's nice and bright. So, yeah, I spent the evening feeling like crap. I watched a bit of telly and I did a bit of knitting, which always helps. just helps me feel more normal. And it's been a while since I did any, so... Shh. 13, 9, 7, 1, or 
three three miles for yesterday. Yes, I know what the list is. Okay. Um, I haven't done any challenges yet, so I'm going to go and get on with those in a minute. I need to go and do some shopping because um, we want our food by the weekend. It's a pain in the ass. <coughs> Cloudy, huh? Yeah, cloudy but nice. So the sunrise was 6.35. Sunset will be 5.57. Uh, another day with rain in it. I hate rain. Right. Ugh. some more paper in here soon. I've used it all. Let's use strawberry because I haven't used it for ages. So I found out how to do those things where the little pictures come up at the end of your videos on YouTube. What sort of things do you think I should be putting it up there? You know, I mean, there'll be a subscribe link, even though I've got my little book down in the corner. Put a subscribe thing up. But what else should I do? What do you think? I like that colour. It's nice. It's more like strawberry milkshake than just plain old strawberries. Now? Not yet, almost. Be nice by a four year old. Come on, mummy, finish up. I'll be quiet. You're going to be quiet, are you? Make a change. I won't have no talk. <laughs> so, there we go. That is us all set up for the day. Yes, I do like that pink. Watch your feet. I don't want to run your feet over with your chair. I bought a new corner rounder because yeah, you're going to be quiet, remember? Because the one that I've been using, um, it's a corner chomper and it doesn't cut properly. So I got a new one come a um, couple of weeks. Couple of, it came yesterday. I ordered it a week or so ago and it came yesterday. So what I do is I keep a st stack of paper in here. It's all pre-punched and dotted. And I just keep it in a little folder out of the way. And then when I get to needing it, I just grab a few sheets. Five will do. And add it in to there. Okay. Right, we are good to go. And um, I'm going to go off and do some chores and try and catch up with some housework. And then um, I think we might go out and enjoy some sunshine because although it's cloudy, the sun is trying to shine. House opposite me is white, and I can see where the sun is shining on it. So, yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go off and at least do the bath and sink and the banister, which I should have done yesterday, and um, get out and about, I think, for a little bit, burn off some energy. So, yeah, you don't, don't you want to go out and burn off some energy? No, no. I want to stay on and watch a film. No, we're not staying in and watching a film. So, there we go, right. Have a good day, everybody, and I will see you back here for the evening edition. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon. It is just coming up on 5 p.m. Um, and I am doing an early instalment of the evening edition because it's Friday. And um, my honey has asked me out on a date tonight. 
So we are going to go out and have a couple of drinks. We're going to go back to his and watch uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, which I'm really, really looking forward to because I'm a huge Queen fan. And, um, yeah. So let's get to it. I'm a bit in a better mood than I was yesterday. Although I'm damn sight fucking poorer after taking my cat to the vet. I could have done without that. There we go. All right. Uh, day face cream was a yes. There's nothing wrong with a cat. She's a washer. She washes herself excessively and she's made herself a bit sore. So we went and they go for a steroid shot and of course for antibiotics and a hebe scrub. And it's just like, uh, I was just sitting there watching the, the pounds appear on the thing. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Um, I'm not feeling like the rest of this because I'm probably am going to have a drink and it will involve fizzy and it will probably involve coke. So all of those won't count. I might have something to eat. I don't know. I'm going to go and uh, see what the challenges are in a minute. See, I just don't know what I'm going to get done. So a lot of this is probably going to get filled in tomorrow. Um, I can fill that in based on how it's been so far. Based on. Um, uh, went shopping this morning to get some groceries. And while we were doing that Darren and I had a discussion on what we're going to do about his toys and we have made the decision to move his toys out of the lounge and up into his room so yeah I don't know what people, age people normally do this see I moved house when my eldest was six I think he was must have been about five or six years old and the upstairs was my children's domain. It was a, it was a huge house and there was five bedrooms, four bedrooms upstairs and a bedroom downstairs. So I had the downstairs bedroom and upstairs became theirs. I only went upstairs to use the loo and the bathroom and they had a bedroom each and, and that was it. And I didn't have toys down in the lounge after that. So I'm kind of like, well, I can't remember when I'm supposed to do that. So I spoke to Daryl about it today when we went down to the shops and said, Jimmy, you know, what do you think? And at first he was a bit like, oh, no. And I said, no, you can bring toys down, but you just have to take them up again when you're finished. And he looked slightly more mollified by the whole thing, but he helped me carry it all up there. So, you know, we shall have to see. Now, I filled the dishwasher up. I haven't turned it on yet. I'll do that after we've eaten. I'll go out and clean the microwave in a minute. Oh, I did do the bath and the sink from yesterday. So yeah, I've done, I've done a wee bit, I've done a wee bit. Right, I have, um, yeah, that was taken care of. I don't really need to take it off though. Set up the races. Alex went to his appointment this morning and we've just got back from taking Elsa to the vets. And that's pretty much it. So I've just got to finish off doing today. There is no drawing challenge. Because the one that I'm doing, the challenge I'm doing is every other day, which is lovely. Really is nice. So, alright, let's go. I also, at, I say it was quarter to five, have only just put the TV on. And I've told him he can watch one thing. And then it will go off again. Because he's become a bit of a TV holic over the last um, few days, and well, few really well from since I've been ill, so the past month, and that's you know not acceptable in my book. Right. Oh, if you're wondering why, why I'm using a different pen every day, I've got the set of Co Creates pens. I want to get the Tombow Fudunusuki coloured pens, and I just use a different one each day. So. Today is Uranus, and I'm going to write it here. And the other one is Alien. It's an alien. So let's write that down here. 
Oh, that flowed really, really nicely. Oh, I'm chuffed when it does that. <laughs> so, yeah, I really want to get the Tombow pens because the Kelly Crates are nice and I am just starting to connect with them. But I love my black Fudunosuke and um, I would, yeah, I would love to... Uh, I'm just going to double check. Element of water is that, but upside down, isn't it? Um, yeah, I would love to have the coloured ones. But then I've got a whole list of um, pens that I want to get. I want to get the Tombow Fudunosuke colour set. I want to get the Tombow Twin Tones. I want to get the Erin Condren um, dual-tipped markers. Yeah, all, all, all of that. Let's try putting a symbol in and it would work so much better. Yeah, what was just an upside down triangle. That's my point seven. So let's put it. Let's put it here. I can't remember whether I answered. I might have answered this in the live. Somebody asked me why these ones are going in the weeklies. The simple solution is is because they're so dinky and it helps decorate my weeklies. Um, I do, this is Jashi Corrin's doodles or J, JC doodles on Instagram. Um, and this week, this month, it looks like that. And she, it's symbology doodle challenge. And you can, uh, her um, Instagram is Jashi Corrin and the hashtag is JC doodles. And she always chooses quite small ones. So I tend to chuck them in. On the weeklies I started doing it I think I did it in January yeah see there was footsteps and a light bulb and a letter and a lock and a moon and a speech bubble and a computer and a phone and a slice of pizza and an apple and I just thought you know what they just help add to the general doodle of my week they just help add to the look of it so that's why i started doing it so yeah they're in there and and daryl decided that my weekly needed stickers this week i quite agree with him because that really does show my mood for yesterday and then he said it needed a dinosaur too so we added a dinosaur right um still really like my fountain i'm really pleased with that that's it it was quick it was dirty did you love it i bet you did <laughs> i'm gonna go off and uh what am i gonna go off and do i'm gonna go off and do those last couple of uh cleaning doohickeys um my son's window and the microwave i'm gonna do and i can do the worktops and sweet floor when i get home tonight and um yeah there you go I hope you have a pleasant evening. I plan to. <laughs> uh, please, please, please leave me a thumbs up. If you hit the book, you'll be subscribed. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Um, please leave me a comment. I love comments. I love it when you lot talk to me. I really do. It is now the first thing I check for in the mornings when I wake up. I don't even get out of bed. I wake up and I pick up my phone and I open YouTube to see if any of you have commented. And I love it when you do. And I was so upset because this morning there were no comments, but it turned out YouTube had had a fit and not actually published my video. So, yeah, not happy. Um, yeah, I really, I really do appreciate you guys leaving me comments. It's great. It just makes my morning that much happier. Um, I'm also trying these end, end things that come up on the end of the screen. So you have to tell me what you think about that as well. Yes, no, keep them, lose them. What do you think? Talk to me. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Have a good one, people. Have a pleasant evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully I won't be too hungover either. Bye!